Deleting in Blender is fairly self-explanatory. Simply take any selection that you wish, and from the toolbar here, choose the Delete option, and you then have a variety of options on which to choose. You can either delete the vertices, the edges, the faces, only edges and faces, only faces, dissolve, edge collapse, or edge loop. Now, all these top ones are pretty self-explanatory and is the edge loop, I would assume, but dissolve gets a little bit more interesting because it's context sensitive based on the selection mode that you're in. So that's what I mostly wanna talk about in this video. Now, the delete menu can be accessed either from the toolbar here by pressing the X key, which is handy because it fits in with the left hand on the keyboard, right hand on the mouse paradigm that Blender tends to follow, or by pressing the delete key on your keyboard can also bring up the delete menu. Note that the, the backspace key, which is also called delete in some keyboards, does not work. Instead, you want the delete key right above your arrow keys. Now, so all of these are pretty self-explanatory, but let's talk about dissolve. So with dissolve, if I say dissolve this selection, it's going to remove all of those vertices and fill the surrounding area with an ingon. However, if I do this in edge mode, and I hit X and dissolve, it only dissolves the everything but the bounding vertices. Now that's with the dissolve verts option on, but if I do this again, say these two, like this and like this, hit X, dissolve, you can see it dissolves all but these ones, but if I choose dissolve verts, it will also generally dissolve any connected ones as well. Now this selection is a little bit weird, but let's go into, oh, edge select mode, that's why that it seemed a little odd. Let's remake that selection just like this. Hit X and dissolve, and you can see it's removed those. If I uncheck dissolve verts, then it leaves those bounding vertices. If I do this same selection in face mode and hit X and dissolve, it simply fills those with an ingon. Now, since this one is only four vertices, even though it's technically connected to this, it's not able to change the selection, and so it just leaves it as a single quad. So dissolving faces, Say, for example, if I take this more complex selection like this and hit X, dissolve, it's going to do the exact same thing as the fill tool and simply convert it to an ingon. So again, just be aware that the dissolve tool functions differently depending on which selection mode that you're in. Lastly, we do have also the edge loop delete tool. So if I alt right click to select this edge loop, hit X, delete the edge loop, that works handy. I can delete multiple edge loops quite easily. As long as they're not directly connected, I can just say select all of these, hit X, delete the edge loops, works just fine. If I go into say edge select mode and alt control right click to select an edge ring, I could hit X and just edge collapse. It would collapse all of those. Or if you were to do these and hit X and edge collapse, obviously it's going to collapse exactly like that, just as expected. But there's one more dissolve tool that I want to show you that is a little bit more hidden because it's not actually in the delete menu. If I wanted to just remove all of these interior vertices, you know, to basically simplify the mesh back down to its original form of just a cube, you know, obviously it's not that difficult. You know, yeah, I just go through here and I can delete all of these, not a big deal. But if you have a more complicated mesh that's not a perfect geometric cube or something, this is going to be a bit more tedious. And that's where we have the limited dissolve tool. So if I select everything here by pressing A and hit the space bar to bring up my search menu and type in limited dissolve, it will then allow me to dissolve everything based on a maximum angle, which in this case just basically allows me to remove all interior vertices quite quickly. And you can see we have a maximum angle. If I increase this above 90, right at 90, it's then going to start removing those and take it down to just a single plane, albeit a funky one with an interior and gone and things like that, but allows us to work very simply. Let's take another look at a more complicated mesh of say the monkey head. And if I hit spacebar, bring up my last result, hit limited dissolve, start increasing this angle, you can see how it's starting to simplify the mesh based on maximum angles. So you could call this a simplification tool. It can be used for various things, but oftentimes that's what it's used for is quickly simplifying a mesh by just removing any vertex or edge that fits within the maximum angle. So very handy at times when you need to simplify a model.